Welcome fellow Rimworlders, how are you going? My name is Aussie Battlecat and it is my mission to help you level up your Rimworld experience. Today I will be walking you through Rhymefellas, a must have mod that you cannot live without since it brings so much to our Rimworld experience. By the end of this guide, you will have another great tool to help you thrive in the Rim. Let me know in the comments what your favourite part about Rhymefellas is. Mine's the napalm. And hey, why not like and subscribe while you're here? You don't want to miss out on any of my latest guides. Also, you can come say g'day to me on Twitch and join our Discord. Links to those are in the description. Now, let's get into it. Rimfellas allows you to support your colony's growth by adding a sprinkle of Factorio to your world. With it, you can produce energy, chem fuel, plastics, plasteel, components, neutramine, and napalm, all by harnessing the power of oil. But how do we start producing oil? Let me show you. To start drilling for oil, we need drill for oil researched in the research tab. This will allow us to build an oil well and a resource console. Now to actually find the oil reserve, you need to have a resource console built. Then go to Ryan Feller's Click on oil well and it will show you where all the oil reserves are and so you are able to build an oil reserve inside one but you can't build one outside it. Once you place the oil well it must be connected to power and a colonist will need to come and drill down to that oil reserve which will cost you 75 steel to get that crude oil flowing. If you click on the oil well you can see how much the drilling has progressed along with how much more steel is required for the pipe. After you have been using oil wells for some time, you will want to upgrade to these deep oil wells. These will allow you to get much bigger reservoirs. To use them, you just need to make sure you have deep wells researched. Once production has begun, you will need to store that precious, precious oil. So, you will need to build some pipes that can be found here and then lead them into a crude oil storage tank which can be found here. Now what's this crazy monstrosity I hear you ask? Well, it is a crude cracker. You can use it once you have chem fuel refining researched and it will allow you to turn oil into chem fuel. Once you have your chem fuel stored, you have quite a few options of what to turn it into. Firstly, you can turn it into canned chem fuel from the chem fuel storage tank, which just requires a chem fuel pump and for that to be connected to the tank. Now, if you want to put canned chem fuel back into the storage tank, that is super easy too. You just need to make sure you have a chem fuel siphon here and make sure that that is connected to the tank. Rhymefellas has its own chem fuel power plants, which allow you to generate energy. There are two versions for this. The first one is a small chem fuel power plant, which will consume 18 liters of chem fuel a day and will produce 4,000 watts of energy. The second is a large chem fuel power plant which will consume 72 liters of chem fuel a day and will produce 16,000 watts of energy. For these to work, just make sure you have a pipeline connecting directly from the chem fuel storage tank to the power plant. Now it is time to look at refineries which are these buildings here. Firstly, make sure you have the appropriate research to use that refinery. To use the refineries, we will need to use the resource console, which is the workbench of the refineries. To produce items from the refineries, just like most items in RimWorld, you will need to create a build of the item you would like, which you can do here. Then just click on the item you would like, hit the amount, and then you're done. Now it is very important that a colonist is working on the bench, otherwise the items will not be made. Finally, you will need a refinery unloading bay to be able to receive the items from your refinery. To build one, just go to Rhyme Fellows, make sure that you have refinery unloading bay here ticked and then just place it next to it. And voila, you're ready to make stuff. This is a Syntheline refiner. It turns chem fuel into a plastic called Syntheline, which can be used as a generic building material like wood. One batch of Syntheline equals 20 pieces. It requires 40 chem fuel and takes 0.6 hours to make one batch. This is a synthet refiner. It turns chem fuel into a synthetic material used for making clothes. One batch of synthet equals 20 pieces and it will require 60 units of chem fuel and 3 hours to make one batch. Here we have the Hyperweave refiner. It produces the Hyperweave fabric, which is a space-aged, highly protective and rare fabric produced only on the most high-tech of Glitterwoods or your Rimfellas colony. This fabric will outperform almost every other fabric in the Rim. 
Next up, we have our Synthamide Refiner, which creates a high strength Kevlar like material from ChemFuel. This is used in combination with Synthaline to create a Synthamide composite, which is a very strong building material. We can create Synthamide composites at our fabrication bench. To do so, we just need to go to Bills, find Synthamide composites, click on it, and then to make one batch, we will just need 25 Synthamide, 50 Synthaline, and 40 Fuel. From here, we can also make Plasteel, which will require 25 steel, 50 Synthaline, and 40 Chem Fuel. When you're creating these Plasteel or Synthamide composites, they will come out uncured. Now, to make them cured, you need an autoclave. To set that up, you just need to build it. You can go to Rhyme Fellas, find autoclave here, and just build one like so. When I'm curing items, I will need to click on this button here to decide which one I want to use. So right now it's curing Plasteel. If I click on it, it will cure composites. It always sucks when you run out of components in room mode, but with room fellas, that is an easy fix. You just need to go to your fabrication bins, go to bills, and then find Synthaline component. It will cost you four steel and 12 Synthaline to make one component. Also, you can make advanced components from one component, 40 Synthaline, 10 Plasteel, and three gold. Just before I get into napalm, neutramine, and artificial flooring, if you have been watching this far, you are a legend. This is a Nutramine refiner. It turns Camfield into Nutramine. Now, Nutramine is a very key ingredient in all the good medical products on the rim. To make Nutramine, head on back to the resource console. Click on Nutramine, and one Nutramine will cost you four chem fuel and one hour to make. I love the smell of napalm in the morning, and that's why I love this napalm refiner. Weaponizing chem fuel was never so easy. You can lay napalm trails. Ignite them. Make funny messages to your enemies. Oh, poor Boomaloop. You can also create napalm bombs. Ah! Also, from the machining table, you can make napalm shells. They just cost you 20 steel and 20 napalm. This is the Rhyme Fellas artificial flooring section. They bring a lot of different new floors and tiles to the game, so it's pretty interesting if you are sick of the regular old boring tiles. My two personal favorite are the Tiles Diagonal and the Tiles Diamond, which are these two bad boys here. Using Rhyme Fellas also brings a brand new way to refuel your ships. Now we can use these pipes to directly fuel our ship. All you need to do is place your ship Get your pipe, make sure that pipe is connected to the ship, and just watch the fuel level go up. <laughs> this guy also wants to use the chem fuel in it too though. He's such a hard worker, go the Omnibot. With all these amazing pros, I can only think of one negative, and that is the oil spill incident. Now, I've never actually had one happen to me in game, so I'm gonna show you with the debug menu what it looks like. It's a really easy way to fix it, so don't worry. Um, to show you, I'll just show you incident, and then click oil spill. Now what this is going to do is actually just destroy one of your pipes and oil will start to spill out. Now to fix this, you just need to build a new oil pipe to stop the oil coming out. And if you want to clean it up, just go to clean spill, click over the area and uh, your pawns will start cleaning that area in no time. Thank you for watching my guide on Rhyme Fellas. I hope it'll help you thrive in the rim. If you enjoyed or found this guide helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it helps me out a lot and you will stay up to date on all of my latest guides. Also, feel free to come say g'day on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash aussiebattlecat. If you have any questions or feedback, just let me know in the comments and I will reply to you. Thank you for watching and best of luck out on the rim.